Are you giving up on Staten Island real estate? Listen, they are lying to us, my friends, selling us all the bullshit wanting us to believe that interest rates will be coming down soon home prices are going to drop unemployment rates are the lowest and the climate crisis at this point buyers and sellers are just giving up on staten island real estate and so i am sick and freaking tired of this crap it is my social obligation to come out here and show you the facts about specifically Staten Island real estate. Let's cut through the nonsense and let's get to the heart of what's happening in Staten Island real estate market. There's so much chatter and misinformation out there. So today we're going to go right into the real data and see what's actually going on. We'll cover everything from new listings, pending sales, inventory levels, and how quickly or slowly homes are selling. But wait, there's more. We'll also reveal some surprising trends and juicy details that you won't hear from the usual talking heads. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, curious about the market, you are not going to want to miss this. And if the lack of inventory is holding you back from selling your house, I have a really cool offer for you at the end, so stay all the way to the end. This could be the opportunity you've been waiting for. Trust me, you're gonna love it. So grab a cup of coffee or something stronger, sit back and let's talk about the boring but very important real estate market on Staten Island. You might just be surprised by what you learned today. First, let's talk about new listings. In the month of May of 2024, Staten Island saw a 6.9% increase in new listings, bringing the total to 508 units for sale. That's quite big. This is huge. A little bit more of homeowners are putting their houses on the market and giving buyers a little bit uh, more options to choose from than they usually. It's like finally seeing some new items on the menu at your favorite restaurant, right? Let's talk about the pending sales. They are also on the rise, up by 2.2% to 366 units. I mean, it's all right, like... If you ask me, it's not that much, but it's a little bit better than what we've been seeing lately. Despite all the doom and gloom being paddled, buyers are actually still out there making offers and closing deals. It's a really clear sign that interest in Staten Island real estate is actually far from being dead. People are still hungry for homes here. Now you ready? Let's address the inventory levels. Yes, inventory has dropped by 16.3%, now sitting at only 1,244 units. Ooh, that's kind of small. While this might sound alarming, it's actually creating competitive environment that can actually benefit sellers. Fewer homes on the market can drive demand and prices. It's like supply and demand 101. Don't we talk about this all the time? When there's less of something, it becomes more valuable. Speaking of prices, the median sale price in Staten Island increased by 1.2% to uh, $658,000. This steady rise in home values is a testament to the area's enduring appeal and the sustained demand for homes here on Staten Island. Don't be fooled by those who say prices are about to crash. They're simply not looking at the facts. One of the most telling signs of a healthy market is how quickly homes are selling. So let's talk about it. The average days on the market until sale has decreased by 16.9%. Now it's down to 76 days on the market. Homes are moving faster, which means buyers are eager and ready to close deals swiftly. Think about it. The faster something sells, the hotter the market, right? Comment below, let me know if you agree. Sellers, you need to take note of the month supply of inventory, which is actually decreased by 15% to 4.1 months. Hey, that's pretty good. This figure 
Builder tells us how long it would take to sell all the homes currently on the market if no new homes were listed at all. A lower supply typically suggests a seller's market, which is exactly what we're seeing now. It's a seller's dream come true. In summary, despite what the naysayers might claim, Staten Island's real estate market is showing resilience and strength. New listings are up, pending sales are increasing, prices are rising, and homes are selling faster. These are the facts. And they paint the picture of a robust market that is full of opportunities for both buyers and sellers. Don't buy into this negativity, please. Stay informed, stay engaged, and remember that Staten Island real estate market is alive and kicking. I don't care if you're looking to buy, sell, now is the time to make your move. Don't let the fear mongers get to you. The real estate market here is vibrant and there are plenty of opportunities waiting for you. And now, here's the exciting part. If the lack of inventory has been holding you back from selling your house, have an offer that you won't want to miss. Sell your house now for cash and lease it back for up to 12 months while you figure out your next move. Whether it is waiting for a new construction to be finished or maybe you're still shopping for the next one. I have the solution for you. It removes the contingency and puts some equity cash in your pocket to use however you need to. Don't wait any longer. Just take advantage of this incredible opportunity to sell your home for cash and lease it back while you plan your next move. Contact me today to learn more or go to getahomecashoffer.com now and secure your financial future. I will put the link for you in the description below for your conveniences. So let's turn your real estate dreams into reality. This is very exciting and I can't wait for you to try it. Oh, and click like and subscribe and come back for more. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.